Once again, thanks for watching Biology Exams for your videos. Today, the topic of our discussion is five steps in nitrogen cycle, and we'll be discussing all these major steps: nitrogen fixation, nitrification, nitrate assimilation, ammonification, denitrification, and anamox. Starting with the definition of nitrogen cycle, nitrogen cycle is a cycling of atmospheric nitrogen between atmosphere, soil, and living organisms. And this is what is happening and we'll be discussing this process in detail first of all starting with the steps in nitrogen cycle and this is atmospheric nitrogen the primary reservoir of nitrogen and the first step is nitrogen fixation where this n2 is converted to nh3 or ammonia the process is called as nitrogen fixation second step is called as nitrification this ammonia is converted to nitrates NO3 and the third step is assimilation this soil nitrate is taken up by the plants then it moves through living organisms and the fourth step on death and decay of plants and animals this nitrogen containing compound is again back to soil by decomposers into ammonia and the process is called as ammonification and the final step is denitrification where NO3 is further reconverted to N2 and returned to atmosphere, thus completing the cycle. So why nitrogen is an important compound for the survival of all living organisms? As we all know, nitrogen is an essential element in protein, DNA and pigments. In protein, this is the primary structure of amino acid. You can see nitrogen here. In DNA, nitrogen spaces are made up of nitrogen and carbon. And in the case of pigment there is nitrogen and also nitrogen is also present in vitamins alkaloids etc so for a living system nitrogen is an essential element but nitrogen is the most limiting nutrient for the growth and reproduction of plants what's the reason in atmosphere there is approximately 79 percent of nitrogen the air we inhale is primarily composed of nitrogen still this nitrogen cannot be used directly by plants the reason is this is nitrogen N2 you can see there is a triple bond this is a triple covalent bond between nitrogen atom makes that makes N2 very unreactive inert and high energy is required to break this triple covalent bond and this occurs naturally by lightning volcanic eruption etc in cases where high energy is released Therefore, nitrogen is abundantly present in atmosphere but cannot be utilized by plants. Therefore, it should be converted to some other form that can be taken up by the plants. Step 1. Nitrogen Fixation Nitrogen fixation is simply the conversion of atmospheric N2 to NH3 or ammonia. Nitrogen fixation can happen by three methods. First one is a biological nitrogen fixation. That's the most important method and we'll be discussing that in detail. And the second one is non-biological nitrogen fixation that is by lightning, volcanic eruption, etc. We have discussed in the previous slide. And the third one is the industrial nitrogen fixation that is in the making of fertilizers. The process is called as Haber-Bosch process where temp approximately 500 degrees Celsius and 200 atmospheric pressure is required in the presence of catalyst iron so this is a high energy requiring process where nitrogen containing fertilizers are made then the most important method of nitrogen fixation that is a biological nitrogen fixation this is carried out by prokaryotic organisms or bacteria biological nitrogen fixation accounts 70 percent of total nitrogen fixation this is carried out by symbiotic prokaryotes like rhizobium that is present in association with root nodules of leguminous plants and also there are some free living nitrogen fixers like azotobacter and this is a root nodule you can see here this rhizobium colony is formed and this bacteria is capable of fixing nitrogen or converting N2 to NH3 and that can be taken up by the plants and the plant in return provide food and shelter for bacteria and this is the reaction N2 is converted to NH3 with the expenditure of 16 ATP molecule so this is a high energy requiring process 
16 molecules of ATP is required to fix one molecule of nitrogen. Plants and animals cannot carry out this process and this is carried out by prokaryotes. Step 2 is nitrification. Nitrification, now we have ammonia by nitrogen fixation. Nitrification is a conversion of ammonia first to nitrite, NO2, then to nitrate, NO3, by two groups of bacteria, generally called as nitrifying bacteria. Nitrifying bacteria, there are two types of nitrifying bacteria. First one is nitrate bacteria that is involved in the conversion of ammonia to nitrite. That includes genera, nitrosomonas, nitrosospira, nitrosococcus, etc. And the conversion of nitrite to nitrate that is mediated by bacteria like nitrobacter. And this is nitrification, conversion of ammonia to nitrate. Now there is soil nitrate. Third step is nitrate assimilation by plants. Now we have soil nitrates by the process of nitrification. The soil nitrates is taken up by the plant and plant converts this into biomolecules. This soil nitrate is incorporated into DNA, protein, pigments, etc. And that enters the food chain that is eaten up by herbivores and carnivores. This enters the food chain. This passes through living organism and this process is called as nitrate assimilation. The nitrate in the soil that is converted to biomolecules by plants and that is further passed on to other organisms in the food chain. That process is called as nitrate assimilation. And the fourth step is called ammonification. The biomolecule that is synthesized in plants and animals on death and decay of plants and animals, this organic nitrogen or nitrogen that is incorporated in biomolecules like DNA protein etc. that is in tissues that is decomposed by decomposers to give rise to ammonia or conversion of organic nitrogen to ammonia by decomposers is called as ammonification. And this is returned to the soil. Other method by which ammonia is released into the soil is by the excretion of organisms. Thus, ammonia is released into the soil. And the fifth step is the denitrification. Denitrification, now we have soil nitrate. Soil nitrate, by the action of denitrifying bacteria, it is converted to nitrite, then it is converted to NO, and finally converted to N2, or dinitrogen and that is released into the atmosphere thus completing the cycle. So denitrification is a return of N2 to the atmosphere by the activity of denitrifying bacteria in the genera Bacillus, Paracoccus, etc. And there is one more process that is happening that is anaerobic ammonia oxidation. It is a conversion of ammonia to nitrogen in the presence of NO2 or nitrite as electron acceptor. In anaerobic condition that happens in deep bottom region of lakes and this is also a cause of denitrification and this is the summary of nitrogen cycle it starts with the nitrogen fixation where the atmospheric nitrogen is converted to NH3 or ammonia this ammonia is converted to nitrite then converted to nitrate by nitrifying bacteria and the process is called as nitrification and the third step is the nitrate assimilation. The soil nitrate is taken up by the plant and this nitrate enters food chain and it circles in the food chain. And the fourth step is ammonification. On death and decay of this organism, these biological compounds containing nitrogen is further reconverted to ammonia and released into the soil. Excretion is another reason of release of ammonia to the soil, thus replenishing the soil with nitrogen containing compounds once again and finally denitrification it is a process by which this nitrate is further converted to N2 and is released into the atmosphere hope things are clear you are with biologyexamsforyou.com thank you so much for your support